Captain, with the psi disruptor signal hampering the Zerg's communications to one another, the swarms over Char have scattered in disarray, allowing the fleet to penetrate to the planet's surface. However, there is still a considerable number of defenders nestled around the fledgling. Shit. Hold on. Captain, with the psi disruptor signal hampering the Zerg's communications to one another, the swarms over Char have scattered in disarray, allowing the fleet to penetrate to the planet's surface. However, there is still a considerable number of defenders nestled around the fledgling overmind. Alexei was right. The disruptor is the key to victory here. If I had destroyed the machine, as Duran suggested, we would never have made it this far. Nevertheless, the time is upon us, Captain, to do what we came here for. We will claim the Overmind in the name of humanity. Be advised, Captain. Our sensors have identified three Cerebrates who constitute the core of the Overmind's defenses. Each Cerebrate's distinct capabilities are still unknown. So proceed with extreme caution. Launch your forces, and let not a Zerg survive. Once you have reached the Overmind and crushed its defenders, you are to send in specially trained medics who will pacify the creature with potent neurostim drugs. Only then will our victory be assured. And Captain, remember that Duran is still out there somewhere. I venture again that his treachery has only just begun. Be careful. And good luck. I am sure that these will be our finest hour. Okay. So, I'm not sure what's been happening, but, uh, for some reason my computer has shut off a couple times while trying to record this. And no, it isn't me turning it off. Um, I am not sure why it's doing this, but, like, I'm looking down at the OBS screen right now, and it's, the CPU is only at 25% use. I wouldn't think that that would cause it to, uh, like, like, fail. I know that if the computer overheats, that that will force it to shut down to save the computer, but I didn't think it was that hard. I could have sworn I've had it hotter in this room before. Regardless, I made some good progress on this level, and because this happened during my recording, I... I am not able to keep that footage, unfortunately. So, yeah, I'm having to redo it all. Sadly. Sadly. So anyway, I have learned a few things about this level. One, I can get the Teresque that appears trapped. And that really messes with it. I don't even know how I did it. It's kind of a fluke that it happened at all. Okay, so that's where you're going to attack, I guess. Yep. You guys want to hurry the fuck up? I mean, not that I care about losing a stupid... Well, go over there. Heal. Thank you. Assholes. I need to build a bunch of SCVs to, uh, repair. Well, not repair, just, uh, to gather minerals, because I need a ton of them. Are under attack. Where does it hurt? Really? Come on, go. Get out of there. Right right Douchebag hydralis. Give me 
I'm getting just the worst luck today when it comes to recording. Oh, wait, wait, the S... Wait, the medic can heal the SCV? Okay. I mean, I guess it's non-mechanical, but still... Well, I say it's non-mechanical because the Zerg Queen can use an, uh, Spawn Broodling on it, but then again, it can use Spawn Broodling on, uh, it can also use Spawn Broodling on, uh, Siege Tanks, which are most definitely not mechanic, or which are most definitely not, or most definitely mechanical. Anyway, apparently I'm going to have to, like, save extremely frequently and, like, do a bunch of fragmented uh, segments into one finalized product, because apparently the fates do not wish me to actually record this game because of the aforementioned technical difficulties. Actually, yeah, you just go over here, then. Over. You want a piece of me, boy? So, Siege Tank, I also need to get an Academy at some point. So I can have the longer... Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Yeah. Because the fates don't wish me to record this game today. Oh shit, and also... Additional supply details required. And, uh, I'm not even gonna keep this stuff, because if the Terrest comes here, then it's just gonna eradicate everything anyway, because bullets do, like, no damn. Oh. Halt. Get in the other bunker, come on. Okay. Unfortunately, Lone Marine, you're going to be alone for a while. I am still going to need more Marines, but... I do want to save as much minerals as possible for right now, anyway, because what I need to do is I need to get a bunch of siege tanks. Finish that. Input coordinate. Okay. Buckle up. Okay, let's see how many do I need. Just in case they decide to send uh, more uh, flyers through there. Not in 
So I need at least 12 Marines in total. Two of them are right there. Five. Okay. I have my air conditioner on in here, just in case it's that it's allegedly too hot in here for the computer. But again, I've recorded like this before, and it hasn't done anything in the past, so I don't know. Armory right here, I guess. Build another armory here. Okay, I almost lost that. Well, partly because I don't have this. Which is the most important marine upgrade there is. No one can disagree with that. The Teresk is a super ultralisk. You would know if you guys ever watched my, uh, um, Enslavers campaign, you would know, you'll know exactly what the Teresk is. It's the same unit. So I'm going to build a sci science facility right here. Come on, I need more minerals, damn it. I could always cheat and give myself more minerals, but if I'm going to cheat, then I may as well give myself power overwhelming and not have to worry about these. So I need two more. Getting as many siege tanks ready as possible for the super ultralisk. Because if it arrives and I'm not ready, I'm going to get wrecked. And I mean wrecked. If Teresk attacks through here, it doesn't matter. Nothing of value is lost. You can argue that the bunkers are valuable, but again, they can't do much. And marine fire does nothing to it. Like, almost, almost literally no damage whatsoever to it. Now, this is why I built two of these, and that still might not be enough. It's these damn Zerglings! Although, to be fair, had I built... Had I upgraded their weapons better, 
there's a good chance that that State the nature of your medical emergency. wouldn't have happened. Kill that overlord. Yay. Uh... All right, there's the ultralisk. Oh god, I have less than I did before. Where does it hurt? Did someone page me? Did someone page me? All right, let's see. Where might this thing appear? I hate to get rid of those files because I actually made some great progress there, but no. Nope. Nope, had to get fucked up. So, I have eight of them. What are you doing over there? Okay, you know, lift off so you can get back there. Okay. Yes, sir. Destination. Where are you going up here? Where are you going to come at? Reporting for duty. Orders, Captain. Ready to roll out. Identify target. Sir, we've just had a whole cargo ship. Ha ha. Vehicle weapons. That's 750 damage per volley. I guess ship weapons next. Um, uh, okay. We'll build one more just for insur insurance purposes. 80 times 11 is uh, 880, and that's enough to one volley the the thing. Now just let's just hope that uh, the Teresque doesn't or the Zerg don't decide. Uh, let's use spawn broodling on these clearly organic siege tanks here. I still hate that. Also, my base is getting kind of cluttered with these supply depots. Tortured roar! Exclamation mark. Alright. So, I'm gonna make another save here. Hopefully it will... I hope it'll keep trying to attack from up here, because if it does, then... Good, we can just hold it off indefinitely. Okay, so are they both... Okay, they're both researching away. Okay, so... All good. Actually, I'm not going to override that save yet. I want to see where it comes from first. As soon as I kill this uh, Cerebrit, then it'll no longer respawn. Okay, so... 
Oh. Fucking. Okay, it would have killed it had this fucking upgrade been done. Alright, I'm gonna... If once I get to eight battle cruisers, I'm gonna save and then probably actually resume this another time, just so I don't lose that progress again. Goodbye. Don't even try that with me. Alright, so next I'm going to do ship weapons, because I do want to wreck some cerebrates, so I can actually progress a little bit. I'm not sure how many I would need for a minimum. I would like to conquer this again, but, uh, yeah, that's not gonna happen yet. Actually, I will do... Maybe I'll do ship plating, I don't know. I mean, I do need to get that up. Also, thanks for telling me where where the Tereska respawns. Lurker. Guardian. If it keeps respawning from... Okay, that's where it's going to attack. Yeah, you got that one there. Okay, so I'm going to slow the game down a bit. See if... Actually, no, I got a better idea. I'm going to send the battle cruisers to intercept it and attempt to lure it in a different direction. That's what I'll try and do. Oh. Wait, okay, never mind. No, it's being a dick and won't. Damn. Okay, well, so much for that idea. Ah, uh, fuck. Okay. Receiving transmission. Hailing frequencies open. Okay. So they're done. Too bad I don't have General Duke's uh, NORAD 2. Research complete. Wait, Yamato gun or? Good day, Commander. I'm definitely gonna have to find another source of uh, Vespine gas somewhere. I may overtake these guys and take their gas from them. Battle cruiser operational. Yeah, I do not know. Receiving transmission. I do not know if uh, six or seven battle cruisers will be enough. I mean, I can try it here. Upgrade 
Okay. So... Actually, I'm going to increase speed again. I'm just going to alternate saves. Yeah, one should be good enough. 75 times 11 is more than enough to... It's over 800, so it's good. I sh Let's see, that's six. Actually, I'm going to build one more supply depot here. Hope I can get away with this. Healing frequencies open. Upgrade complete. There it is. Oh. Oh, you asshole. Okay, so the thing's gonna be a dick this time around. Okay. I actually had the idea of maybe doing this in case that asshole decides to do it. I can at least hopefully be able to uh, lure it over here and then knock it out. I'm trying to. Where is it? Oh, and that time you chose a frontal assault. Oh, you piece of shit. So it's completely RNG. Alright then. I'm gonna stop recording in case my computer decides to fuck up again. And um, I'll be right back. Alright, let's see. Will six battlecruisers actually be enough for this? I mean, I can get a seventh, but will that be enough? I don't know. At least I have my... I don't have weapons fully upgraded yet, but hopefully it'll be enough. Receiving transmission. Take it slow. Make it happen. Okay, Set the yeah. Make it happen. Set the course. Make it happen. Make it slow. Engage. I hold. Okay. Alright, can this one be it? No. Well, no sir, sunken colonies can, at all can be attacked, so... At least the spore colonies can. Come on, knock it out. This thing, please die. Okay. Uh, where's the thing? There we go. 
Okay, hold on. I want to test something, though. Does that mean they'll still attack? No. Okay. That worked. What's the one? Okay. All right. Well, since we have established that that will work, I'm going to I'm going to wreck the other. I'm going to wreck the other Ultralisk then, or the other Cerebrit. Okay. Build five SCVs. Oh, wait. Wait. Okay, yeah, yeah, because that's why I built this one. Um, and then... Alright. So once all them are done, I'll also send them over. There. Actually, hold on. If they... Oh, I guess they are... Oh, I guess they're dead completely. Tortured roar. How badass that tortured roar. But seriously, though. Good day, Commander. All crews reporting. Receiving transmission. I will have to conquer that too, probably. Set the course. Take it slow. Healing frequencies Oh, guardians. Receiving Okay. Okay, that is not an accept that is unacceptable. Okay, so I'm at my max. So I'm at my cap for uh, supplies with nine battle cruisers. And s Damn it! Okay, this thing. Receiving transmission. Okay. Well. Actually, no, screw that. I'm just going to keep this over here for right now. Okay. So let's see, ten battle cruisers. This should be enough to take out the... the Teresk. The Teresk Cerebrit. And... what the hell, I may as well take out these sunken colonies since they were such since they were so mean to me and wouldn't let me kill them I'm gonna be mean right back to them sorry I just I just have to do something to, to the melody of this I realize whistling is probably a bit ear piercing. Goodbye. Tortured roar. Actually. 
depending on how fast it moves, I might be able to intercept it before it even gets there. If not, I'll just accept whatever losses I take. Apparently the Overmind still doesn't know how to build Devourers yet. Unless that's a Kerrigan specific, uh, you know, strain, I guess. Okay. Oh, never mind. Never mind. There's some devourers. Where's the cerebrate? Oh, come on. I'm gonna waste a lot of energy, but I don't care. Goodbye, Teresk. Alright. So what does this acid score one do? Does it just slow the target down? I'm guessing that's what it does. Whatever it does, it isn't permanent, so... Okay, I think I might have gotten this one in the bag, actually. And no, there was no editing done at all in between, like, when I cut and then cut back. There was no editing done. That was just purely on the fly because, again, fear of computers shutting down. Set the course. Take it slow. Receiving transmission. Set the course. Take it slow. Report for duty. Go ahead, HQ. Yes, sir. Good day, Commander. Take it slow. Okay. Take it slow. In the cage. Set the course. Make it happen. Set the course. Come on. Receiving transmission. Make it happen. Take it slow. So, I won't need these anymore. I mean, I'm still going to keep them, but I, I'm i not going to just kill them off, but I won't need them. Also, I like how it just kills, destroying the Cerebrate just completely actually kills everything in here. And the Cerebrate's literally just right there. It's not even like in the heart of a bunch of defenses. If I were in charge of the level design, I totally would have done that. Basically to say, well, fuck you, you're not getting away that easily with, uh... You're not just gonna destroy... You're not gonna destroy them in two seconds. Take it slow. Make it happen. Guys, get back over here. All crews reporting. Orders, Captain. 
Receiving transmission. Eh, yeah. May as well. I mean, I'm not gonna upgrade vehicle weapons anymore. Because, like... What are you doing? Get back there. Receiving transmission. Engage. Set the course. Yes, sir. Receiving transmission. Now, without my presence, the UED are complete imbeciles, apparently, because they lose everything. They lose core hall, they lose char. They lose everything. And then they get eradicated. Receiving transmission. Set the course. Yes, Set the course. Good day. Uh, go over there. All crews reporting. Receiving transmission. Good day, Commander. So. Good day, Commander. It, it is entirely possible to, uh clear out the entirety of the enemy bases before destroying the Cerebrates, but it is it is difficult to do. And normally that's how I do like to play, but uh Yeah. No. Set the course. Receiving transmission. Take it slow. Oh wait, here comes some swarms. No. That was close. Set the course. Receiving transmission. Actually. The hell with not needing these. I'm going to need them. Receiving transmission. Uh, hello? Defiler Cloud? I mean, I know they can do that, but why? Anyway. Check out everything over here. Um, well, a lot of this shit, for the most part, is just, uh, pointless. All crews reporting. Set the course. Take it slow. Engage. Okay, so that's one whole dozen. I would think what would happen would be what happened la whenever Zaz got killed, and that his brood run amuck, ran amuck, and threatened the hive cluster. I would think that should probably happen instead of uh, instead of just the broods go inert. Not sure if it matters to anybody, but I will. I think I'll actually, uh. Holy shit, infested Terrans. 
Whoa! I did not expect them, actually. Good. It is a damn good. It is a. Are these things? No, they're not inert. No. That's a lot of Zerg. Come on. Well, there goes one already. Actually, I'm gonna make an alt save. If it's too hard, I'm just gonna say fuck it and just uh, go straight, straight to the Cerebrit and destroy it. Holy shit. Holy fuck. Oh, the Nidus Canals. I should probably destroy that. Please? Please die? Okay. Uh, 
Okay, they still do got a shitload of, uh, hatcheries and such. Good day, Commander. <sighs> Make it happen. Ooh. Oh, wait. Absolutely need to repair these. I really don't want to lose anything. yet? Yeah, unfortunately they did. I will fight my way through the Overmind's defenses. I assure you, it will happen. Is there anything up here? Uh, oh wait, yes there is. Oh, uh, no there's not. It's just inert stuff. And then, probably nothing? Yeah, nothing. Healing frequencies open. Take it slow. Good day, Commander. Good day, Commander. Not enough minerals. Receiving transmission. Make it happen. Right away. Healing frequencies open. Receiving transmission. Set the course. Okay. And all right. I think this is now. Uh, if I can just get it. There we go. All crews reporting. In the cage. I think I might be at my supply limit here pretty soon. Thank you. 
Now the reason I keep telling my units to hold position is because if I let the computer, the computer will automatically attack miscellaneous units. And they're great at detecting stuff to attack. Okay, come on. Get in there. Attack it. Kill it. Thank you. Die, die. Come on. Actually, everything. Yamato gun this hive. I want this hive dead. Okay, not quite dead, but it's close. Oh, shit. I don't care if I lose battle crews, if I lose units. You gotta think of the big picture. sure what they've rebuilt the around here, but it seems Make like they built a lot. Uh, or maybe not. Their ass is gonna get wrecked, I know that much. No, go over there. Go over there. Uh, you... You need to go away. In the cage. Reeling frequencies open. Good day, Commander. Reeling frequencies open. Good day, Commander. Set a course. All crews report. Oh. Good day, Commander. In the cage. Receiving transmission. Make it happen. Aha! Set a course. Your forces are under attack. Make it happen. I don't know about anybody else watching this, but I think the Zerg are having a really bad day. Oh, I know you're gonna make it devour. Okay, now you gotta build. We breached the perimeter of the Overmind's nesting area. We can launch the med team at any time, sir. Indeed. Yes, the five, 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 five. And transit HQ. Receiving transmission. Make it so. Make it so. Of course. Dead? Dead. Alright, so I think they're all dead, but I will make sure they are. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty much... Oh, wait, oh, no. 
Well, they're they're basically dead. Let's be honest. I'm not gonna destroy every building, but they're essentially whacked. And I believe these guys were too. Uh, pretty much. I mean, they only had the one base, I think. Yeah, one base. And they had... They... These guys here actually had a few, but... Don't care. Yep. Alright. Go ahead, HQ. Alright. And... Done. Captain, the medics are in place and are administering the neurostim treatments to the overmind. Victory. But oh wait. Uh, excuse me, Admiral, but I'd like to introduce someone to you. Duran, you. Son of a bitch. What's the meaning of this? Admiral Dugal. I've heard a lot about you. Loser. What the hell are you? I am Kerrigan. The Zerg you've killed here and the Overmind which you've come to collect are mine. As is our mutual friend, Lieutenant Duran. You see, Admiral, there are a number of groups in this sector who feel that your involvement here causes certain complications. My associates and I intend to make sure that your reign is short-lived. You may find that difficult, you abomination. Seeing as how I possess the means to disrupt your control of the Zerg. Ah, you're referring to your vaunted Psy Disruptor. It won't last you forever, Admiral. Sooner or later, I'll destroy it. Then I'll show you what the Zerg are really capable of. Oh, and by the way, Admiral, your friend Stukov was twice the man you are. <laughs> I'm glad you saved me the trouble of having to kill him. All right. Okay. About an hour that one went all together, and now for the cutscene. Of the United Earth Directorate 
and of all mankind. And on that note, this segment is over, and next time, we're going to continue. But this time, we'll be at the Zerg once again. See ya.